What really uh, created the desire to write Organic Outreach for Ordinary People is the last 30 years that I've been a, a follower of Jesus Christ, uh, kind of twofold. One, personally wanted to share my faith in a way that felt natural for the people I talked to, and then second, wanted to share faith in a way that felt natural for me. And, and when I say organic outreach, I mean natural outreach. Organic, just kind of organic food, natural food, and and so and, and meeting so many Christians that when you would talk about, if you'd use the word evangelism, or you talked about outreach, uh, people who would uh, just get so, I mean, committed Christians, love Jesus, they want to share their faith, but you talk about sharing faith, you talk about outreach, you talk about evangelism, and they they get nervous, they get anxious about it, and they, they just think, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be one of those people who's offending everybody, who's um, trying to sort of unnaturally jump into conversations with spiritual discussions that don't really fit in that setting. And so I just started thinking to myself, um, how can we do this organically? How can it be just part of our lives in a way just like breathing, just like living, just like being who we are? It will change our world and it'll change the church. The church will begin to look like the breadth of our community because God will begin drawing those people in. You know, one concept in the book that has been really uh, well received by people is the idea of not just praying, praying kind of for people, but praying with them and engaging them in the process. And one of the things I, I write about in the book is that uh, when you're in a restaurant, you can actually, with, with a server comes to serve your food, uh, you can say, uh, you know, we're going to say a prayer before our meal. Is there anything we can pray for you for? And that's kind of praying for them, but I've had experiences where oftentimes, I'd say 80% of the time, the service will, oh yeah, I'd love, and, they, and whether they're a believer or not, they have something going on in their life. And you get to have a great spiritual conversation, they share what the need is, and you pray for them. But I also have had people, when it came time for our, our time to pray for the meal, that would actually, the service would come and walk over and stand by the table. Outreach isn't just a program or a department in our church or something we do once a year on a mission weekend, it's who we are. Organic Outreach came out of that just bedrock practical need that Christians want to share their faith but they don't want to scare people away and they don't want to make themselves feel awkward so can we do it in a natural way and I'm absolutely convinced we can and the content of the book is really about helping people take those steps to, to just let this become a natural part of their lives organic for them.